Yeah, Caleb's doing much better. They sent him home last night. No, Lucas, it's not your fault. I should have been there. Well, maybe the investors will change their mind. All right, we'll talk soon. Does he smell? What? One sniff, please. I was supposed to do laundry last night, but I was out following Sydney until 4 a.m. You're fine. Okay. Except for that giant coffee scene. How did he even get there? What? You're a mott tripped in the teacher's lounge and got all over me. Never mind. Wear this. So, what happened last night? Did Sydney lead you to Jenna? Not unless Jenna lives in the bathroom of a Greyhound bus. That's where Sydney left the tracker that we put in her bag. And by the time I found it, we were halfway to Pittsburgh. Edie's still one step ahead, and I'm 40 minutes late to work. Are you this? Um. No? Yeah. I'm the first one who hasn't completed her turn. Look, I know you're worried, but maybe putting Caleb in the hospital and hurting your business was your punishment. Just try not to freak out over something you can't control. 